E10 Kenya is one of the most famous hotspots for high altitude training all over the world. Elite athletes from many countries come here to train with the locals and to prepare for highlights like the Olympic Games, World Championship, major marathons and anything you can imagine. Today for me it's time for a training session in Eldoret. Eldoret is the city next to E10, it's a 45 minute drive from E10 and today we travel with Public Matatu. Riding the Matatu can be quite adventurous, it is a very bumpy ride to Eldoret and sometimes there are up to 20 people in this small car. Today we are lucky, fortunately, and we are looking forward to a great track session on Kipchoge track in Eldoret. Fortunately, Kipchoge track is located right where the Matatu stop, so it's just a short walk from there and the access to the stadium is very easy, everybody is welcome to train here at any time, which is very helpful for us. Kipchoge track is one of the few Tartan tracks uh, in this area, so many athletes go there to train if there's a very fast workout. And today, for me, it's time to do 400 meter repeats for the first time during this training camp, so let's go! After the training session we are heading to Eldoret Matatu station where we can pick another public Matatu that takes us back to E10. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? What about this one? What is that? <laughs> Our physical therapist Ben is one of the best in the country. He works with many world class athletes and also works at CNC Guest House where we stay and he treats us for one hour from head to toe. Very nice.
in the afternoon we sometimes hop into the local stores where we find uh, supplies that we need to survive in Kenya because the days uh, are often very tough for us and the food is very simple so sometimes it's nice to add something for example in the supermarket chocolate or in the local farmer stores some mangoes, avocados, stuff like that. After tempo running in the morning, in the afternoon I usually do an easy run, for example 15 kilometers on that day in 405 pace through the rocky roads in the area and I enjoy the views. It's a very special and unique atmosphere on these dirt roads around the camp. 